is the beginning of your class, how to be a good woman, 101. Now, I need you to pay close attention, free your mind from all distractions, and listen to me as I utter words of divine wisdom. I see you have a bit of makeup on. Here's a towel. Wipe it off. And your earrings and bangles, take them off. You need them not. You are a woman of virtue, of honor, not a Jezebel. Don't be a temptress that is easily taken to bed. Instead, be a good plain Jane who gets the golden ring of marriage in the end. Now, when you dress, make sure your skirt is long and flowy, hiding your curves and killer legs. Make sure you cover your chest. God forbid that a man sees any hint of skin of your breast exposed. Won't he run mad like a rabbit dog and will no longer be responsible for his actions and everything he does will be your fault? But you're a good woman, aren't you? You wouldn't want to be a stumbling block, igniting lustful thoughts into the minds of your sinless brothers, would you? Lower your voice. Don't be too loud. A good woman speaks softly, not like a politician addressing a crowd. Don't use curse words. Be polite and make sure you're always wearing a smile even when you feel you are going to die on the inside. Because that's what good women do and you want to be a good woman, don't you? You want to be good women? Don't you want to be good women? Why are you not agree with me? <laughs> now, as a good woman, it's okay to be ambitious, but don't be too ambitious. You can be independent, but not too independent, lest you scare potential suitors away. Be a boss lady, but not too bossy, lest you end up offending your male colleagues and damaging their delicate self esteem. Now, as a good woman, when your knight in shining armor comes and finally gets you hitched, just know that all your plans will have to take a back seat and your focus will have to shift from your individual needs to your husband. You will be cheering him on from the stands and now you will be a homemaker catering only to his and your children's demands, just like the good woman that you are. Forgiveness is a virtue that you must have. You will forgive all of your man's mishaps. You will put up with all of his crap. You will have no expectations of him and will just settle for anything that he gives. And you will not complain. In fact, you will be grateful. Grateful that he chose you, some worthless being, and that because of him, you have good social standing. You will be grateful because that's what good women do. And now, that marks the end of our lesson. Do you have any question? You want to know if you will ever achieve perfection and be the poster child of good womanhood? The answer is no, darling. No matter how hard you try, how much you sacrifice, you will never be a good enough woman in the eyes of society. Thank you.